Assalamu alaikum, uh, welcome viewers uh, to our channel. In our last clip, we have been uh, revising uh, KCSE Mathematics Paper 2, 2019, and we have stopped up to question 5. So in this clip, we're going to start uh, from question 6. The bag contains 6 red balls and 4 blue uh, counters. Two counters are picked from the bag at random without replacement. Uh, the first question is asking, represent the event using a tree diagram. Good. So if we start uh, with question A, that is a part A of question 6, we are told to represent the event using a tree diagram. So in the first, pick a ball. You can either pick a red ball or blue ball. The probability of picking red ball is 6 out of the total number of balls in the bag. And the total number is we have a 6 red and 4 blue, and the total is 10. You can also pick a blue ball or blue counter, and the probability of picking blue counter is 4 out of uh, 10. You can also pick red or blue when you pick red as the second ball the number of red balls now reduce from six to five and since the ball is not replaced the total number of balls in the bag will also reduce by one so it becomes nine so the probability of picking uh, uh, the second ball as blue will be four out of nine if first you have picked blue ball, then the second picking can also be red or blue. If you pick blue as the second ball, so the number of blue balls reduced by one, so it becomes three, divide by uh, three all over, the number of the total number of balls reduced by one, so it becomes nine. And the probability of picking red as the second ball will be six out of nine. So from here, the two balls can either be red and red or you can pick the first ball as red and the second ball as blue you can also pick the first ball as blue and the second ball uh, and the second uh, ball the second counter as red you can also pick the first counter as blue and the second counter as blue so those are the outcomes and that is how it's supposed to represent the event using a tree diagram. For part B, you are asked, find the probability that the two counters picked are of the same color. That means the first uh, the first counter picked can be red and the first and the second counter picked can be red. Or the first counter picked can be blue and the second counter picked can be blue. So we can say it can either be red and red or it can be blue and blue. The probability of picking red first is 6 out of 10. And means times in probability. The probability of picking red as a second counter is 5 out of 9. So we have 5 out of 9. Or means plus. So the probability of picking blue counter as the first uh, as first is 4 out of 10 and means we say times the probability of picking blue counter as second picking is 3 out of 9 good so now from here we can simplify by 5 equals to 1 by 5 that is 2 by 2 that is 1 by 2 here we have 3 uh, by 3 we have 1 by 3 we have 3 so 1 times 1 we have 1 all over 1 times 3 we have 3 plus you can also simplify this one by 2 we have 2 by 2 we have 5 by 3 1 by 3 we have 3 so 1 times 2 we have 2 all over 5 times 3 we have uh, 15 so how do we add this one 
we will add this one first by getting the LCM. And what is the LCM? The LCM is 15. 15 divided by 3, uh, that will be 5. 5 times 1, we have 5. Plus 15 divided by 15, that is 1. 1 times 2, we have 2. Therefore, 5 plus 2, we have 7. 7 all over 15. So the probability of, of picking uh, two counters of the same color will be 7 out of 15. So that's let us move to question 7. Find the coordinate of the turning point of the curve y equals to x squared minus 14x plus 10. So what is the turning point? We have to ask ourselves what, what is the turning point. So at a turning point, this is a point at which the derivative changes sign. Okay? Or the gradient function changes sign either from positive to negative or from negative to uh, from negative to positive. Good. So uh, the function we have is y equals to x squared minus 14x plus 10. So first, we have to find the gradient function. So we have the y all over dx will be equal to how are we going to take the power times the coefficient here, which is 1. We're going to have 2 x, then we subtract 1 from the power, minus uh, the, the, the power of x, here we have 1, 1 times 14, we have 14 x, then we subtract 1 from the power, and the derivative of a constant is 0. Therefore, dy all over dx will be equals to uh, 2x, because 2 minus 1, that is 1, x power 1 is x minus 14 x power 1 minus 1 that is 0 x power 0 that is 1 1 times 14 we have 14 so at turning point you have to know that at turning point then dy all over dx will be equal to 0 therefore we can come and say 2x minus 14 will be equal to 0 we take uh, we collect the letters together by taking 14 on the other side. So we have 2x equals to 14. Why 14? Because here we have negative. When we take it on the other side, it becomes positive. So we have to get the value of x by dividing two both sides of the equation. Therefore, x will be equal to 7. So when x is 7, what will be the value of y? And remember, y is equal to x squared minus 14x plus 10. And the value of x is 7. So we have 7 squared minus 14 times x, where x is 7 plus 10. 7 squared, that is 49, minus uh, 14 times 7, that will be uh, 98 plus 10. So we have 49 minus 98, we have negative 49 plus 10. Negative 49 plus 10, we're going to have negative 39 as the value of y when x is 7. Therefore, the turning point uh, or the coordinate of the turning point now becomes x uh, in the form of xy, which will be uh, 7, negative 39. We move to question 8, which is like, is a sector of a circle of radius r centimeters. Angle A or B equals to 60 degrees. And in simplest form, an expression in terms of r and pi for the perimeter of the sector. For the sector. O, A, B of radius R and the angle subtended at the center by the arc AB is 60 degrees. Now you are asked to find perimeter. So what is the perimeter? Total length of the sides of the figure. The length O, A plus A, B plus B, O. Because we know O, A, that is the radius, and O, B is also the radius R. So we have to find the length of the, of the arc AB. And we know how to find the length of an arc by use of the formula. Therefore, to get the perimeter, will be equal to the length of the arc AB, length of arc AB, plus the length of OA, plus the length of OB. That will be, and how can we get the length of, that, of an arc? Uh, we can use the formula, which says theta over 360 
2 pi r where r is the radius of uh, plus oa oa that is the radius r plus ob that will be also that will also be the radius r we are given theta or the angle at 60 so we're going to say 60 follow by 360 uh, times 2 times pi r plus r plus r we're going to have 2r remember we're told to give the answer in terms of pi and r good so we have a 0 cancel with 0 by 6 we have 1 by 6 we have 6 by 2 we have 1 by 2 we have 3 therefore we are going to have a third pi r plus 2r okay so this one means uh, pi r all over 3 plus 2 pi r. we have uh, uh, r is common in these two uh, equations or r is common so we have to factor out r so therefore pi r all over 3 divided by r r comes with r so we're going to have pi all over 3 plus 2 pi r divided by, divided by r we're going to have uh, 2 and that will be equal to the perimeter of the sector given in terms of the radius and uh, pi. Automatic test. Uh, the score obtained by 30 students were recorded as shown in the table below. In the table. K okay, with a frequency of 6 is not given. Okay, so this score is not given. Uh -huh. Given that. Summation of FD all over summation of F is equals to negative 1.2, where D equals to X minus 69, and using an assumed mean of 69, determine the score K. Whereby we have uh, the score. Uh -huh. And then we need to have uh, D, where D is X minus the assumed mean given, where Assume mean was 69. To have a frequency, frequency times d, 59. We have a 61. We have a 65. We have k. We have 71, 72, 73. And 75. How are we going to get D? D is x minus 69, where x is the score. Where x is uh, the score. So 59 minus 69, 59 is smaller than 69, so we're going to have negative. We're going to have negative 10. 61 minus 69, again 61 is smaller than 69, so we're going to have negative 8. 65 minus 69, we're going to have negative 4. And then the value of k is not given. So to get d, we're going to get x as k minus 69. Then we have 71 minus uh, 69. We're going to have 2. 72 minus 69, 3. 73 minus 69, 4. 75 minus 69, we're going to have 6. Good. And the frequency was, the frequency is given. Here we have where we have the frequency. So the first frequency is 2. 3, 5, 6, 7, 4, 2, 1. And the sum of the frequency or the number of students uh, was 30. Now we have to find FD. What does FD mean? You have to multiply the value of frequency times the value of D, where D is a deviation. Times 2, we have negative 20, negative 8 times 3. We're going to have negative 24. Negative 4 times 5, we have negative 20. Negative uh, I mean 9 times 6, we're going to have 6 into bracket. K minus 69. 2 times 7, we have 14. 3 times 4, we have 12. 4 times 2, we have 8. 1 times 6, we have 6. So we have to find the summation of uh, FD. Or we have to add the negative 20 plus negative 24 plus negative 20 plus negative plus 14 plus 12 of plus 8 plus 16. We are going to get a so this will be 24 plus 6 into bracket k minus 69. 
So this will be when you add negative 20 plus negative 24 plus negative 20 plus 14 plus 12 plus 8 plus 16, we are going to get a negative 24. So we have negative 24 plus 6 times k, we have 6k. 6 times uh, 69, we are going to have a negative 414. So can you add? Uh, we, we have 6k, negative 24 plus negative 414, we are going to have negative 438. So this is the summation of FD. Okay? And remember we are told uh, in, in the question, summation of fd all over summation of f will be equals to negative 1.2 okay so we already have summation of fd which is uh 64 minus 3 uh, 4 38 divided by summation of f or the number of students is 30 this one should be equal to negative 1.2. So time is 30, both sides. Time is 30. So 30 comes with 30. Therefore, we have uh, 64 minus 438 will be equal to negative 1.2 times 30. We are going to get negative 36. So here we have... Uh, Sorry, here we have 6K. Here we have 6K. So 6K K should be equal to negative 36. We have to take 4 to 8 on that side. So we're going to have plus 4 6 plus 438, we are going to get uh, 402. So divide by 6, divide by 6. 6 cancel 6, so the value of k will be by 6, 1, by 6. Here we have uh, 6 because of uh, 36, 4, we have 7. So the value of k is 67. The score k, the score k, uh, represent 67 so that's how you are supposed to get uh, which says determine the amplitude and the period of the function y equals to 3 sine into bracket 2x plus 40 okay the amplitude and the period of the equation y equals to uh, we have 3 uh, sine 2x plus 40. Now, can you find the amplitude and the and the period without drawing the curve? Yes, because gen uh, generally the uh, k sine into bracket uh, bx plus theta. The value of k uh, represent the amplitude and the period will be equals to. Uh, 360 degrees divided by b where the value of b is the coefficient of x is the coefficient of x now in this equation the amplitude will be equal to the value of k which is 3 so from here you can say amplitude equals to 3 while period will be equal to 360 divide by the value of b and the value of b we said is the coefficient of x and in this case the coefficient of x is 2 so divide by 2 36 divided by 2 we have 180 degrees so that is how you find the amplitude and the period of any equation <laughs>